Hey guys, Prime Matrix 1986 here. Uh, so today I wanted to bring you all a video review of the Walking Dead Supply Drop uh, Rick Grimes bobblehead. Um, so yeah, this is actually really, really, really cool, man. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not really much of a big fan whenever it comes to bobbleheads and uh, even really Funko Pops. Uh, those are actually my fiancés. Uh, it's not that I don't like them. It's just, uh, you know, I like stuff that is, I guess, a little bit more realistic, if you will. Um, and, you know, bubble heads usually look kind of silly. And, uh, you know, by default, they are with the big heads and, you know, them just bobbling around and whatnot. But I gotta say, whenever this first came out, I actually really did want to get it. It's just I've obviously waited for a long time, a little over a year, I believe. Um, and I finally got around to getting it. And uh, I'm definitely not disappointed. Um, you know, as part of my Rick Grimes display, which uh, you guys can see right up here, um, you know, I wanted uh, a TV Rick Grimes, which, don't get me wrong, there are some nice figures, like the uh, TV show Series 8 Rick Grimes, and, uh, you know, the Allies 3-pack Rick Grimes and whatnot, but, um, you know, I wanted something from Season 9, something really cool, like a little shrine. And I did make a custom or two, but it still just didn't really give it much justice. And then I remembered this. So I looked it up on eBay. I think I got it for about 15, 20 bucks, which is roughly what this goes for, I believe. And uh, I'm not disappointed, not one bit. Now, the only way you could originally get this was if you were subscribed to The Walking Dead uh, Supply Drop Box, which is a, I think it's like every single three months they send you in a box. Uh, it's a little subscription box they have, which I've never really been interested in. Um, to be honest with you, most of the stuff that comes in the box, I think, is just kind of boring. Um, I love the Mega Box a lot more whenever it was around. Of course, that was from Skybound. Um, but, they, you know, it's been canceled. Uh, but anyways, kind of getting off on a tangent. Um, so first and foremost, guys, um, I believe that this statue is actually smaller uh, than the other ones. Because there are other statues out there. This is from Royal Bobbles, is a company that makes this. And um, I've actually seen some of them in person, like whenever I went to Sonoya, Georgia with my fiance a few times. Um, you know, they have some of them uh, open out of box on display. And they're usually about like yay tall, give or take. This is about roughly, I don't know, five to seven inches, give or take. Um, it's definitely bigger than five inches because it's bigger than the uh, McFarlane Toys figurines. Um, but the other ones are usually about like, again, you know, a few inches taller. Um, but that doesn't mean it's bad or anything. Uh, of course, it is kind of weird, I guess, if you get those and you put them up next to it, it's going to be out of scale. I don't really know why they did this. Maybe it's because Royal Bobbles only made, I think it's like 500 of these. So maybe it was to save, uh, you know, some molding supplies, I guess. I don't know. Um, but again, not really a bad thing. I just absolutely do love this. Um, I mean, this thing is honestly so freaking detailed. Um, oh, it's a little bit drunk on me. So let me try to zoom in here on the shirt. And as you can see, man, look at that. It's got some nice buttons right there. It's got some awesome rippling effect with the, uh, shirt, um, I do love the, uh, even the pockets. They actually look like they're sewed on, you know, like how pockets usually are with all of them and whatnot. Um, so very, very, very cool. And um, he has a little spike weapon he had uh, from Season 9, Episode 1. And uh, I think he maybe used it a little bit after that. I can't remember. But I know it was in the first episode, nonetheless. I do love how he has his revolver, and it's tucked away, and... Um, and the holster there, he has his belt he's had from, I want to say, it was like season one. He's had this belt throughout the entire series, from what I remember. I do love the hatchet. Uh, very, very cool he has that. Um, I love also how they have it in his makeshift uh, hatchet sheath, which is actually, I think, like a phone case. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, they even got his uh, watch right there, which just looks awesome. Uh, it looks like on mine, the circle part is blended in with the um, paint of the skin. So, 
that's kind of unfortunate. The rest of it's silver. Uh, but it looks like, honestly, if you probably get like a silver Sharpie or something, all I probably got to do is just go, pook, and I'm sure it'll be fine. But even the freaking fingernails, I mean, check it out. You can you can see that perfectly fine. That looks so good. Um, the ground, even. Check out the ground. It, I mean, those gravels look so good. Um, all the debris um, looks like a little, I don't know, maybe like a stick or something, some rocks. Um, there's like a bottle right there. So, so nice. And it's cool because right back here it says um, The Walking Dead AMC. Um, I do love right here how it says Rick. Um, I think it'd be cool if they had like Grimes, you know, like Rick Grimes on it. But I guess the reason why they don't do that is because, um, you know, they'd probably have to stretch it further. So, you know, not really a complaint. Um, but, you know, I guess it would have been cool. I don't know. Maybe I am complaining. And, uh, of course, here is the amazing face. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to kind of get this to focus and just check this out man that looks just like andrew lincoln i mean the mouth is a little bit open and it's i don't know it's like that look that andrew lincoln gives i can't really explain it but it's kind of got like a scrunched up forehead you know the the eye color looks really really good that blue eye color which for some reason looking at my camera it looks brown i don't really know why <laughs> Hopefully, it won't look like that in the video, but I don't know. It's weird looking, but yeah, it's blue. Trust me, it, it's it's a bright blue color, um, but what is really, really nice around it, and this you can see, is, um, you know, there is like some black lining right there around the pupils and whatnot, which is so cool. I do love the um, eyebrows even, and the beard I especially love, how there is a gray tone to it but you still see some of that dark brown showing through and it just oh man it looks so so good um i do love the uh, hair up top although the paint seems like it kind of hides away some of the detail but the detail is still there nonetheless and unfortunately right here on mine looks like it chipped off a little bit uh, i do gotta say guys you have to be very very careful with this and i think the other you know roll bobbles as well because it's very, very breakable. Um, it's not glass or anything, but I guarantee you, even if I was to put it like right here on this table and it drops, it's probably going to break. Um, very, very fragile. But either way, though, uh, very, very cool. I love the details as far from the boots all the way up to the wardrobe and especially the face. Looks just like Andrew Lincoln. Honestly, all the faces I've seen on any of these royal baubles, including this one, um, you know, the, the heads look perfect. Um, I honestly haven't seen even the uh, five inch and seven inch McFarlane toys figures look that good. And of course, he does have the cool, you know, bobble head action. So there's that. Hey, do do you like the way the TV show's going? Oh, do you like the way that it was? I can't really get him to shake his head yet. There we go. Anyways, <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and head off here, though, guys. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this review. Stay tuned. There will be more coming up. So thank you all for watching, and I will definitely catch you all later.